we are resolved not to go back to the load shedding of 2008, and we have put a lot of work into putting measures in place which will help us through a few difficult years um, and in a way that enables us to keep the lights on rather than to have to resort to load shedding. I, um, I must say, you know, you can never give a guarantee that there's not going to be load shedding. And as we said, you know, the, the, the system is tight um, and, and will be for, for a couple of years still. Uh, but I think that, that um, one of the, the quickest wins we can get to help us manage our way through those challenges is for demand to be reduced by the country as a whole. Now, we're working very closely with our large customers and we have had great cooperation from some of them. Some of them have put in really quite a lot of energy efficiency, saved a lot. 10% is, is our ambition, and, and, and some of our large industrial and mining customers have saved that much off, off their power usage in the last few years um, and, and, and are helping us on a daily basis. But we also are looking to our smaller customers in households around the country to also save on the power they use um, on a permanent basis to get into just better habits in the way we use electricity, but also particularly now and particularly um, at evening peak when demand tends to go up. We at the Chamber have expressed uh, concern and disquiet that what's happening is that we don't seem to have the ability to provide the power to the business community and we as a a country need to start looking at how ESCOM is going to be able to provide the needs of the business community because we are starting to get concerned that if we need to produce more and we need to open new businesses, is there going to be power for those businesses? We know that our president has called for 5 million new jobs and it's the business community that has to produce those jobs. And the only way we're going to be able to produce those jobs is by opening up more manufacturing concerns, factories, etc. And if we do that, we need to have guarantees of the ability to provide power to those factories and manufacturing concerns.